Okay, we are live. So we'll wait for some people to join. This is like the, the part where we're like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if anybody's gonna join, but. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I feel like we should have like background music or something. Oh, we got we one, one person. person. Hi, Hi person. <laughs> this is our first, so we're kind of messy about it, but. Um, should we get started? You yeah. Should we? Okay, let's get started. Welcome to the first episode of Christy and Surreal C. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about art and how to grow our art businesses. Um, we have our notes because we're not professional video people. So, <laughs> so Carolyn Hardy is a surreal artist, um, and I primarily do architecture sketching. Um, so, Carolyn, why don't you? Carolyn is like the star of the show because she um, actually knows what she's doing with art and promotion and stuff. <laughs> so she is going to, um, can you give us an intro yeah. about yourself? Tell so us hi. about yourself, Carolyn. Hi, so I'm Carolyn Hardy, surrealist artist. Ta -da. Yay. I specialize in surrealism in acrylic and live painting performances. I started painting when I was a little kid and I had my first art exhibit when I was 18 years old. I'm the current president of the Art Society of Kingsville, and I'm the creator of the menu series at Eclectic Love. So we have the <laughs> Crab Cake Eggs Benedict right here. Uh, you can find my art in a variety of galleries in Essex County, including the Carnegie Arts and Visitor Center. You can also find it for sale on Peely Island at one-of-a-kind Peely Island Art and Collectibles, and on my website, carolynhardysurrealism.com. Yeah, all right. So she's got a couple of paintings here. She's got, um, this one was sold already from the menu at Eclectic Love. And then one back there, is that one for sale, Carol? Yes, that one's for sale. So that one's called Wisdom Tree. It's a very nice piece. Yeah, and make sure you join her um, if you want to uh, check her out live at Eclectic Love on yeah. Friday. Friday, yep, this Friday coming up. And it's, is it every Friday? Um, so every time a painting from the menu sells, I will live paint another one. Oh, that's cool. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah. So the mushroom toast recently sold. Oh, yay. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations to the new owner. And then tomorrow morning, I will be painting the heavenly cream tea. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so you decided on one. Last time yes. I met with Carolyn, she wasn't sure which one she was going to paint because she picked something from the menu and then does all yes. the magic in her brain about what she wants it to look yeah. like. <laughs> And then she decides, you know, which, which one she's going to do. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Do you have an idea of like what it's going to look like yet? Yes. It's right over there. Oh, so surprise, surprise. Yes. <laughs> so I sketched them out on the canvas beforehand. Uh, this is the heavenly cream tea. So we have a cloud hand holding a teacup. If you've been to Collectic Glove, they have very unique, beautiful teacups. Oh, they do. Yeah, they do. And they, they have do. the little spoons too. It's like the little, you know, the little old spoons that you'd see in grandma's house that everybody goes, why do they have spoons? You actually get to use them there. Yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so adorable. Sweet. So we've got a cloud hand holding the teacup on top of clouds and then it has hints of bergamot and vanilla. So part of the clouds are the bergamot and vanilla um, flowers. Okay. Yeah. So lots of blues in this piece. It's going to be heavenly. <laughs> Heavenly. <laughs> so good times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I do, um, so I'm a newer artist. I don't have like a lot of exhibits and stuff going on. I just kind of, uh, I do it sort of more part time and I've only been doing art since like early this year or I've only been selling art since earlier this year. Carolyn's been doing it her entire life. <laughs> so I think it's yeah. a good mix between like, I'm a part time artist who also has another job and she is basically a full time artist um, with the occasional I do job. some odd jobs and things. Yeah. Yes. So this is the kind of art that I do. Um, it's more, I do a lot of custom commissions for people and their homes and I do vehicles as well. Um, so you can see my stuff over, you can see all the links for everything below. Um, you can see some information about her projects and her website and everything at the links below. So let's talk about um, how you got the the collaboration, the collaboration. With, Eclectic, with Eclectic Love. So Eclectic Love opened last September and they had a group art show. Uh, it was a black and white themed art show. I did a series of surreal lighthouses and everyone really liked them. And one of the owners invited me. They said, hey, if you want to come and do some live art, you know, in here, show people what you do. 
Uh, so I did, and it was really popular. So that was last this November, December or so. So I was just doing live art for a little bit. This is one of the live paintings here. <coughs> And then the menu was kind of a magical creation. So I painted <laughs> I love this one so much. <laughs> this is the Crab Cakes Eggs Benedict. I painted this on my birthday. Oh. Yeah, so see, there's the candle. It's my birthday Aww. Benedict. For my birthday, I painted my favorite thing on the menu. Oh, I love the story behind art. Yes. It's so fun. Yeah. I'm just going to check and see. So if anybody has questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. And if we can figure out how to use YouTube properly enough to answer them, we will. We will. We will definitely <laughs> answer your questions. We're both not super techy, so. But we're doing our best. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, Crab Cakes Eggs Benedict. And what makes it surreal is that this is an actual crab, where in real life it's a crab cake. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would really be scared if this is how my crab cake should yes. it, it was a crab going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be way too surreal. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. That'd be a little bit scary. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this series is supposed to be like kind of us talking about what we're doing with our art. And also if anybody is an artist and wants to learn from like what Carolyn's doing or what I'm doing, we're going to share kind of the behind the scenes of, of how we get our projects and how we, you know, promote our art. So um, how did you approach Eclectic Love? Like, how did that... Uh, well, they had the, uh, black and white themed art show. Yeah. And then they asked me to do live art. Oh, so they just came to you and they were like, hey. Yeah, and we get along. And I mean, I love their food. I eat there. I bring my friends there. You know, and people love the live art. It's very entertaining. For sure. And then, so this was the first one, the menu. And my friend Nancy Donaldson was having brunch there on my birthday. And I said, Nancy, I'm painting my birthday, Benedict. And she says, and time froze when she said this. She said, you should paint the menu. And it was like time stopped and game like, over. Light bulb moment. Yeah, game <laughs> over. So this was the first. There was 10 in the original series. Uh, we had a fantastic opening reception, which happened to be on Nancy's birthday. Magic again. Yeah. Uh, five of the original series have sold, so I'm doing live painting performances for every painting that's sold. And we're keeping the menu up a little longer. So if you go to Eclectic Love, you can see the menu, you can sit under the menu, you can eat the food that is surreally painted. That's so cool. Yeah. So how do you deal with like when people are interrupting you? Because like I, I really struggle um, to do live performances because people interrupt me, it takes me out of my flow. So I don't really do the live stuff, but Carolyn is like pro at live everything. <laughs> so how do you deal with like people interrupting you? Do you oh, love that? I, I like it, yeah. I like it. I actually, I do use the people's suggestions. They come up and they said that duck, you know, needs to be like bigger. I'm like, okay, I make it bigger. <laughs> Add some wings <laughs> to that duck. <laughs> yeah, so, and I love it, you know, it's and it's fun when there's a lot of people. Yeah. It's good energy, you know, because I do this alone in my home. But when I'm out in the world with people and people love it, it's a great time. Yeah, being an artist, I feel like can be a little bit lonely if you're doing it at home. Yeah. So care at home. Yeah, Carolyn and I were recently in um, one of the local events called the Great Migration Paint Out. And that was really fun because we got to network with a lot of people. We, I, did you sell any art in the show? I did not sell any art in the show. Not this time. Maybe next I time. I sold one piece. Oh, actually one, one piece. Yeah. You did sell a piece? I did sell a piece. Oh, yay. 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 Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the Great Migration Paint Out was, is uh, by uh, Lane Van Loo and Lane Van Loo. They set it up. It's local to Kingsville, and it's artists come from all around. Like, people came from, like, five hours away to come see. Anyway, the point is, is that we like to get out, and it's nice to see other people. But I have really struggled because people, I wanted to talk to people, but it kept taking me out of my flow. And I think maybe that's because I'm a newer artist, but you seem to be so good at that. Yeah, I, I like it. I don't know. People say that all the time. They ask, how do you do that? Like, doesn't it bother you? But it doesn't. So this past weekend, there was a, a wellness expo in Kingsville. And I wasn't going to go. And I was like scrolling and I saw she was there. And I saw Ask uh, Our Society of Kingsville was there and a few other people that I knew. So I popped in and she's painting. <laughs> It was great. I'm standing I in the middle it. of the room painting, um, <laughs> painting the egg, right? Yes, yes. I painted the <clears throat> harmonic egg uh, from New Earth Wellness. So the Art Society of Kingsville, uh, we have a outreach committee. So we're going to different events 
and I got to go with them this time and I'm doing a series so this is surreal interpretations of the menu items but I'm branching out I'm doing surreal interpretations of our everyday life so that was the first one at the wellness expo and I looked around the room and I asked myself what is the most interesting thing in this room and new earth wellness has a gigantic egg that you walk into which was the obviously most interesting thing in the room <laughs> You walk in, there's a giant egg in the room. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just a poster of the egg, but I mean, it's it's surrealism. Yeah. So it was the Lakeside Park Pavilion uh, stage there, and I painted the egg <clears throat> and figures coming in and out of the egg and how they're reacting to that situation. And it was very popular. Yes. I, it was really yeah. cool to see. Um, and Carolyn was telling me that because uh, I'm looking at her palette, and it's like caked in paint right like yeah. what do you how do you what do you do with that and she's so she sells when she's done she sells the palace yes. which is so cool i'm thinking that'd be so great to have like hours and hours and hours of painting caked onto a a palette and just hanging on your wall that's so yeah. cool and then you can see the paintings that were painted you know like if you bought the palette from the day that i painted the egg you'd be able to see the colors that made it oh yeah so, so you could buy the painting and then the palette and yeah. it would be that's so, that's such a great idea. Awesome. That'd be beautiful in someone's home for yes. sure. Yes. Yeah. I do have some for sale in the Carnegie gift shop right now. So if anyone's interested in something like that, it is available for sale. Sorry. I was just checking to see if there was oh, live of chat. Of course. <laughs> Let us know, I don't know if you have any questions. YouTube, how do you work? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. So how, like other ways that you promote your art. Uh, let's talk about like networking and okay. collaborations. Okay. Um, Cause I haven't really been very good at networking. I have been networking, but the I did like the Great Migration paint out and then I immediately got COVID. So <laughs> that's my luck. But um, but anyways, yeah, like tell me about some different uh, networking collaboration, like oh, some projects yeah. that have come from networking collaboration, how you approach that. Of course. Uh, so I've been doing professional art for a long time and people <coughs> recognize my style. So it's a very unique, bright style. Uh, this painting doesn't have it. Well, it does a little bit here, but I do swirlies. So oh, the Carolyn Hardy swirly. The is Carolyn like, Hardy swirlies. Yeah, so. I'm like looking around. Can I see something with a swirl? That one has the Carolyn yeah, Hardy, has Hardy swirl. <laughs> so uh, people, they're like, I love the swirlies. And then they look at the paintings for my signature. And then they Google me and they can contact me through my website. So it's pretty much a series of events. I do a lot of work on Peely Island. So... Some people who visit there recognize my art and they track me down and they hire me to do things and then people see those things and so it's, yeah, it's been great. Yeah, so you did a big um, board in Leamington, didn't you? It was like the board uh, in the Wheatley. Oh, Wheatley. Yeah. Tell for, me about that one. Uh, so for the Wheatley Horticultural Society, uh, it's right as you drive through as you're going to Chatham. It's a big face and, ho face and hole. So the person who contacted me from their society uh, is familiar with Peely Island. So she knew my work. Uh, she tracked me down. She hired me. Uh, they were great to work with. They brought the board to me. I painted it. They picked it up. It was amazing. And yeah, it looks great. It's yeah. still there. Yeah. That's so cool. I, I remember seeing the picture and being like, well, that's such a cool project. Like yeah. what a random cool project to do. But you do a lot of like just random yeah. projects and I love that. And Carolyn was telling me when we were meeting to talk about um, how what we were going to talk about on YouTube, she was telling me that if anybody remembers Merleys Car and all the art on the wall, Carolyn was kind of like the one who started doing the yes. art. She was the one that like birthed the idea of the Merleys art wall. So can you tell us a little yes. bit about that? Uh, so that was my claim to fame. So uh, <clears throat> Merleys was owned by a lovely gentleman named Frank Merlihan. And when I was young, I think I was 21 when I met him, uh, he was going to open up the coffee shop, Merley's Merle Han, a uh, mutual friend of a friend. I went to Merley's with my art and I said, I'd like to put my art on the wall. And he said, we can all put our art on the wall. <laughs> I had a job there. I worked there for years. It started with 10 artists. And by the end of its time, it had 104 artists, countless paintings being sold, uh, so if you don't know about it, it had a ever-evolving art wall 
and literally every inch of this restaurant was covered in local art and they were all for sale. People it was like a lo it was an it. attraction that people came from everywhere to come see because you could sit there and stare at the wall for hours and just like look at all of the art and the owners even when uh, Derek took it over um, he was so chatty and yeah. Merle was so chatty it was just like a very community based yes. type of place which is very similar to Eclectic Love um, because you're doing the art and it's very like community and they're very kind there so yeah that's yeah. such a restaurant cool and art <laughs> yeah and if there are any restaurants or any owners watching um, that want to collab with either one of us and or just have art on the wall contact us um, she is the president of the Art Society of Kingsville so we have access to a ton of different types of art even if it's not our specific art that you you know if you want the Murley style wall or if you want Carolyn Hardy style wall or you want you know architecture or style. <laughs> yeah. yeah well I do um, alcohol markers yes. mostly yes. but it looks like everybody thinks it's watercolor because it it acts pretty much the same so but yeah, networking and collaboration is so important. And something that I've realized um, as a newer artist is that, um, so I started, I to give you an idea of what I've done, um, over the course of the last year, I've done 43 custom commissions of homes, which is like for me doing that kind of level of artwork, like, like selling it is just like, my mind is blown that that's even a thing. So, um, but the way that I did it was mainly online. I started just posting um, relevant, like, you know, I, I, did a, I did a sketch of a church and I posted it in the Kingsville Facebook group and people just started messaging me and asked me to do their homes. Um, so now when I go out, people recognize me. So I think it's important as an artist at every level to be out talking to people. And like, you know, I joined the Art Society of Kingsville and then I started going to Elaine and Lane Van Loo's uh, Painters Guild on Wednesday night. and. Um, just networking with other artists um, and getting your name out there and like even if you're going to an event or like even if Carolyn goes and paints and doesn't sell anything that day people are going to remember who she is because she showed up and she's talking to people and they see her art they see her swirlies so when they're out you know at a show or something and they see the Carolyn Hardy swirly they're going to know that that's her and have a face and a name um, to remember her by so I think networking and collaborations are so important for that. Yeah. Do you have anything to add on networking and collab? I mean, really important. If you're just in your home and you don't show anyone your art, no one's going to know. Yeah. 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 And it, I feel like it can be very scary, though, as an artist to get yeah. out there and talk to people um, and show your art into the world, which is why I started digitally. I actually didn't even plan to start selling my art. It was just going to be something that I did for fun. Um, and then people started contacting me. So I think that's the coolest part is the more you collab, the more people reach out to you because they like your style, like with you yeah. and the, you know, yeah. the menu, they liked your style and they wanted you to come and, yeah. and the Wheatley Harvest Festival. Horticultural Society. Sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you very much, Wheatley. <laughs> Excellent. Shout out to Wheatley. Woo, Wheatley. <laughs> It is a nice town. Yeah. 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 So Carolyn's going to have an exhibit in 2025, right? Yes. Tell us about your exhibit. Uh, so it's going to be at the Carnegie Arts and Visitor Center, hosted by the Art Society of Kingsville. It's entitled, This is Real. So as this is surreal interpretations of the menu, this is surreal interpretations of our everyday life. Like the egg. Like the egg. The egg, yes, is a, a prime example um, and then I'll be at the Grovedale double album release party on Saturday night. Oh, cool. Tell us about that. <laughs> and I'll be there live painting. So I will probably produce a This Is Real style of painting as well. So I look around the room, you know, life as we know it, we all see it. But how can this be a surreal interpretation? So that's going to be very fun to watch for everyone over the next 16 months. Yeah, that'll be really fun. Do you do anything lot like do you record it or anything? Um, sometimes or do you I have to go on location to see. Yes, I'm mo I'm a uh, mostly on location, real life kind of person. Sometimes I'll post to my Facebook page. Sometimes, but yeah, then you see is, it in real life. Actually, this right here is a good example of a collaboration because I do a lot of like I work in marketing in my daytime, so I have a YouTube channel and I have all this stuff going on. So I, and Carolyn is really good at the like in-person networking. So we were like, hey, let's join forces. I can help her with the online stuff. She can help me with the in-person collaboration stuff. So that's another, yeah. this exactly it's is an example out. of collaborations yes. and networking. 
Because a, a year ago, I didn't know Carolyn. Yeah, this is true. And this is the first project we've ever done together is this YouTube, yeah. so. Yeah, so far so good. High five to collaborations. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah, so um, your exhibit's in 2025. What, yes. Do you have any other projects going on? I have an exhibit on right now at the Leamington Arts Centre. So that is entitled Simply Surreal, 22 Original Paintings. They're all for sale. So this is a great chance to get an original Carolyn Hardy painting. Go get one. Yes, beautiful gallery up there. It's on the upstairs floor, <clears throat> well lit. That's all surrealism. And then the synopsis is a poem that is composed of the names of the paintings. So Oh cool. Yeah, very yeah. surreal. Yeah, and you know, I yeah. was taking a look at the pictures online because I haven't had a chance to get up there and see the exhibit yet. Um and I noticed that your paintings are actually quite different than what you normally do. Like they're surreal but they're it's like a wide variety. There was one specifically that I saw that I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's, it's your style. Like you can tell it's you and you can tell it's your style, but it's quite different than what you normally do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, uh, then what I've seen you yes, do. Yes, then what, yeah. <laughs> I've made a lot of art over my lifetime. So there's every, uh, there's a saying, a man never steps in the same river twice because That's he's true, never the yeah. same man, never the same river, never the same painting. You know, if I were I to repaint this painting right now, it would be slightly different because I'm a different person than I was on May 5th. Yeah. Yeah. And you're also doing, um, she has an entire, I don't, you can't see it from here, but she has an entire table full of plant pots that are being painted right now. Yeah. So I go through small obsessions. I'm now <laughs> obsessed with painting terracotta pots with adorable little plants. <laughs> so good times. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like what? Oh, 40 lots, pots over there lots. and they're they're all like in in the process of being painted yeah <laughs> so that's cool yeah and they're for sale to carnegie arts and visitor center as well and then a portion <clears throat> of all the pots that are bought from the carnegie arts and visitor center there's a nice flower there uh some of the money will go to the Art society of kingsville and also the peely island butterfly teaching sanctuary oh cool yeah another collab another collab we need collabs yeah yes. collaborations are the best for sure yes yeah. yeah so if you want to check out carolyn you can check her out at her exhibit at the art society of kingsville carnegie um, uh leamington art center eclectic love peely island peely island yes and occasional plant, plant pots yes yes <laughs> <at the> Carnegie. <laughs> yes. um and if you want if you're looking for um i only brought one today but if you're looking for houses or vehicles or um you know I, a lot of people will hire me for um like different special occasions like retirement uh i've painted retirement ones yeah. before or if people have moved out of a house um or you know uh, i've done I've, there's a story behind every single one that i do it's so much fun um but a lot of uh older people who move out of homes or first homes or just you know, if you have anything that you want commemorated, um, a home or a vehicle, that's me. Yes. And they're beautiful. <laughs> Art they're by beautiful. Christy Durham. Thank you. Yeah. So that's it. Any final words on collabs? Uh, collabs are great. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the title. <laughs> collabs are great. They are. Collabs are good. <laughs> okay. If anybody has any questions, pop them in the comments and we will do our best to respond to them. And you can check us hopefully out next Thursday at seven. We're going to try and do every Thursday at seven o'clock for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how many questions and how much we talk about. Um, and you know, we both also have to make money to live. So sometimes jobs interfere with that time. And so it will, we will try to do it at Thursday at 7 PM. Yes. Cool. So catch us then. Bye.